a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy, and this is Life in Almost Heaven. Today's video, I'm not going to be talking a whole lot in it. It's just mostly music, and then working in here. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff on my counter, and you can't see it, but my table is covered. And then, there's this. So, if you're interested, stick around, watch this video. If you have some pointers, or things I need to look for, right now I don't have any extra money to get anything extra so I'm using what I have but I am on the lookout for some really good organizational things that's cheap Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree that we have I haven't been able to go to for a little while but I know I'm going to be able to get some stuff there as soon as I can get to it but anyway I got a lot of stuff in here I got to pull out before we can even start the organization and then it speaks for itself. It really it does. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So <laughs> let's get to work. We should be chasing after the sun. Amazing together as one. to work with and I'll be able to keep a little bit more on my shelves which will come in super handy and help so much so that's what you've seen Gary getting measurements for dad is going to cut my boards for me hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed and then um, Gary will come in and just tuck them in for me so that I can get all of that stuff in here and get it organized and all the things so meantime I'm still clearing off shelves you seen I was able to clear off the bottom and I wiped it and mopped it up so it's officially cleaned and ready to roll and then I still have to take all the rest of this stuff off and Sophie's crying because Gary left and he didn't take her and so mean I know just so mean but yeah let's get back to work just believe in the fire between us extra board in it's not the same wood that we already had in here 
it's a little bit taller just a smidgen I'll show you here in a second but it gave me an extra what about four inches worth of space that I did not have before which is fabulous that is a lot of space so we didn't tack it in we didn't do anything we just literally put them in on the little brackets that we have on the sides of the wall and then just laid it there in front of it and that's it that's all we did to it and this one's actually laying pretty level this one's not this one's not this one's pretty level so these two boards are thicker these two boards are pretty much the same size they already were so yeah let me show you what they ended up looking like okay so I'm so sorry the lights not very good but you see how like there's a lip here now but that's okay this this shelf and the two middle shelves are the ones that have the lip on it and I can work with that and then the bottom shelf is pretty level and then the top shelf up here is pretty level so now we got to take all of this and all of this and figure out how we're going to fit it all in these four shelves and then the empty space down here. Okay. Where do I want to put everything? I don't know. right into you i get all tongue-tied want you to know me but i'm way too shy i can't just go around admitting that it's you i like i wish that i had guts enough to flirt a little but i'm too scared i'll fail i wish that i could listen to okay, so here is the finished product up top i have all of our noodles the pork the um cup of noodles and then the chicken noodles are behind that these are all my muffin mixes and behind that is the uh, chocolate chips and all the baking things crackers and ritz crackers and you can see i still have plenty of room up above there so if i need to put anything else up there i can this is all my little gravy packets and seasoning packets and then seasonings. Behind there I have my oils and my vinegars. And then this shelf here is my breakfast shelf. So we have our pancake mixes and my bacon bits. And I use my bacon bits in my oats as well as my potato soups and things. All of our syrups my um vanilla extract which we use for the pancake syrups honey and other syrups these are all of our cereals that are open at the moment we have a problem with ants in the summer so until i get the canisters to put everything in i'm using ziploc bags and it works it keeps the ants out if you buy those multi-meal cereals in the bags the ants do not stay out of those bags even if they're sealed <laughs> i found out the hard way so we just put everything in a ziploc bag and it stays fresher and it's it's good our hot cereals i have one thing of cocoa wheat and a thing of instant oats back there the maple brown sugar ones then we have our quick oats and our raisins i did put our taco shells up here because i had nowhere else to put them this is my pasta and rice and bean shelf so we have our penne pastas and our shells and then on top i just have all my egg noodles up there and i have one lonely uh, spray here my lasagna noodles and anything that's open, I put that towards the front or on top. So we use that first. These are the crackers that we have open. So those are there. Elbow macaroni and then our spaghetti 
noodles. I take two pounds of spaghetti when I make noodles, so, or uh, not noodles, but two pounds of spaghetti noodles when I make spaghetti. <laughs> I make a big batch of it and we eat on it for a couple days, so that's why we have so much of that. This is our rices. So I have, for some reason, two big bags of white rice open. I'm gonna guess my daughter had something to do with that because I haven't used white rice. <laughs> for a while so I have two of those open but as you can see they're in Ziploc bags so nothing gets in them and then I have one unopened bag I only have one Spanish rice left but I'm going to try to make my Mexican rice out of the white rice I have down here brown rice I don't have a lot of brown rice but I do have two unopened pounds and then I have one pound that's been open and that's what we've been using on these are this is my bag of condiments that we have collected and we keep those in case of emergencies or whatever we go on picnics or whatever we have little condiments mayo mustard ketchup hot sauces for this, um, tacos that kind of thing my instant potatoes are right here and then all of my lentils and brown beans are over here i don't have a lot as you can see but what i do have will feed us for a little while and then our popcorn i just have on this little itty bitty shelf right over here um, we have this and then i have two microwave microwavable popcorns but i don't have a microwave if you've noticed so don't know how we'll be eating those and then our peanut butter is just sitting there because it was an easy place to stick it and we eat that often so down here is my snack and drinks shelf so i have all my dry milk here and then coffee i have an instant coffee um strawberry milk mix which is open we have a tea and then the rest of my tea we have the welch's grape drink mix and then my buttermilk um, dry buttermilk blend and then just a bottle of soda that we're going to be drinking on this is my self-rising flour and then this is my all-purpose flour because i bought those big bags i just put it over into ziploc bags and that works really good and i haven't had any problem with my flour going bad or anything once it's been opened i put it over into a ziploc bag it keeps pretty good I am planning on getting some new containers because these ones are not very wide at the top and I'd like to be able to stick my hand down in there to actually scoop out the ingredients that's in the jar. And I only have one for flour and one for sugar that I keep on my counter. So I will be getting some more of those and then I'll wash these out and probably use them for rice or something else. Um, these are just some popcorn and some popcorn that's open. Brownie mixes, cake mixes. And then behind there, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but I have, I have my pudding mix and my jello mix back there. Then I just have my icings, my baking soda, another can of cooking spray. This one's not open, the other one is, and an extra vanilla extract there. And then down on the bottom, we have our potatoes, which, What's in the back I have to use up first because they're starting to grow eyes and can't have that. <laughs> and then those are the new ones that I just bought. And then I just have an extra bag of um, all-purpose flour down there. And then the sugar that I bought the other day, I'll be putting it over into Ziploc bags and then we'll be setting it down there as well to finish filling out that space. But this is what it looks like now, guys. Doesn't it look so good? Like, I know it still looks... I don't know to me it looks like it's not chaos anymore it actually looks like it has a purpose and every place is in its pl everything's in its place so to me it looks beautiful <laughs> if you like this video give me a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you see more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys the voice inside me a voice that always says give it a go don't waste your time cause you're